Good afternoon, Mr. Fong, Dr. Chen, Mr. Jeff, Headmaster, members of the school committee, honorable guests, friends of DBS, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the opening ceremony of the Dao Season Boys School, School Museum. I am Barney Dao of 11J, today's Master of Ceremony. But we now invite our Headmaster, Mr. Ronnie Chang, to say a few words. Good morning, honored guests, Mr. Fung, Dr. Chan, Mr. Jet, boys, teachers, colleagues. The Diocesan Boys School is a school with remarkable heritage and history. From the depths of the 19th century, when DBS was but a small orphanage in a young colony, to the modern world where DBS has become one of Hong Kong's greatest educational institutions, DBS has produced generations of leaders. It is worthy to remember how much struggle this school has been through and how frequently we have been on the brink of failure. Our financial troubles in the early 20th century, our transformation into a military hospital during the Second World War, and our evolution into a sports, music, character, and academic powerhouse in the post-war world all represent irreplaceable parts of our identity. In every instance, it took great fortitude and vision from both the school's leaders and students to combat seemingly insurmountable challenges. As we face a new generation where education is being rethought on a global scale, it is vital that we take lessons from our storied past to strike the balance between tradition and modernity. It is only appropriate, therefore, that this museum is dedicated to possibly our greatest alumnus, Dr. Sun Yat-san. Exactly 130 years ago, Dr. Sun enrolled at DBS. He subsequently transformed our nation and became father of this modern country we now live in. We do not seek to take credit for the vast array of achievements Dr. Sun has enjoyed. Indeed, it would be unfair and presumptuous of us to claim any part of his ideals were formed here. But what we do wish to celebrate is how many of these great men share his home and are part of our family. It is with this in mind that we set up our school museum. There's no better day than this when alumni gather from across the world to share their memories to unveil the school museum. We believe that after 100, over 140 years of serving, leading and adapting, it is time for us to document this distinguished past of ours and make it open to all. It is vital that we remember throughout these years, our values have never changed. The reason why we were able to produce exceptional, even, even before we became an exceptional school, is because our values have continually been validated. Throughout this process, our advisors have been critical in not simply advising us as such, but also acting to make this museum open in time. In, my, in particular, I would like to thank our honored guests and the following people. Our honored guests, Mr. Yi Wang Fung, Dr. Moira Chan, Mr. Jat Su Tong, our donors, the Diocese School Old Boys Association, our advisors, Mr. Fung, Mr. Hansen Huang, Dr. Joseph Ting, Mr. Calvin Chow, and Mr. Jason Chu, our assistant curators, Ms. Yvonne Choi, happy belated birthday by the way. <laughs> Ms. Anita Ho, members of the School Museum Committee, Mr. Edward Wong, Mr. W. K. Im, Mr. C. W. Tang, and Mr. N. M. Choi. Members of the Habitat Office, Mr. Victor Lee, Mr. Tony Tse, Mr. Daniel Wong, Mr. Kenneth Tang, our janitor, Ying Tse, and boys from the History Society. Gentlemen from the IT department, and special thanks to Ms. Vicky Loy, Mr. Ko Tim Kern, Mr. David Lau, and many others who helped especially to give us their collections. Thank you again. God bless DBS and God bless you all. Thank you, Mr. Chen. May we now invite our guest of honor, Mr. Jesse Utong, to give a speech. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to be invited to take part in this ceremony. This is really a great place and a great occasion to remember our school. I, in the speech that I said earlier today, said that I enrolled here not as early as 130 years ago, but 36 years ago is still a long, long time. And in, the, in those days, if I remember correctly, this used to be the dormitory of one of our deputy um, headmasters, uh, Mr. Jacobson. And the sick wing is on the other side of the building. Um, and you can see that I try to stay in that wing most of the time in order to get away from classes. <laughs> but it has been great. Um, the school hasn't really changed that much. If anything, the hardware has uh, certainly changed for the better. So it is a great uh, momentous moment for this new school. Uh, of the school under this new era uh, of our current uh, headmaster. And, uh, and also grateful to all who have contributed so much and paid so much uh, attention to bringing this uh, museum into fruition. But in terms of its history is concerned, I'm really no one to speak of anything. And in terms of its history is concerned, obviously it has to be Mr. Fong and Dr. Chan uh, who are the experts. So may I uh, hand the mic to Mr. Fong to say a few words? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for a change, may I speak in Cantonese? Chu 我不是追溯到私有期末師在生替拔税做校長的時候 有關私有期的書 Pay 跟著我發現原來是硬正 <笑>陳慕華陳慕華<笑> 
誒呢、呃這個誒、呃、博物館檔案館，咁搞咗一個，但係咧唔係好成功。咁後來咧就亦都冇乜嘢咁，到最近呢兩年咧先要恢復翻話要搞個誒真正式嘅博物館。咁今日咧我係非常之高興咧，能見到呢個博物館咧開幕嘅，啊多謝各位。Thank you, Mr. Jen, Mr. Fong. May we now invite our guests of honor to unveil the plaque of the school museum.